Dax hung on to the uniform. Did you hang on to the bathing suit? The red bathing suit? I did, yeah. yeah. Are you going to pull that out? Maybe. Listen, when things get boring, you never know. When the kids go to college? Maybe. Why? Yeah, no, that sounds about good. Yeah, because I think it'll be spicy up until then. I think it's a good goal to keep it spicy for at least 18 years. Yeah, that, yeah. that is a good that goal. seems reasonable, right? I asked him what his reaction when he saw you in that bathing suit the first time. He said, I only have four hours to do this. Yeah, he was nonplussed. Yeah. He was just, he didn't, he actually asked me to zip it up a little bit uh -huh. because he said that my chest was pulling focus. <laughs> Which made me very proud for some reason. Yeah, I read uh, today that there was some uncomfortable lengths that you went to to do that. Well, yeah, because I, I mean, I'm not well endowed and I was breastfeeding at the time and I thought this is my chance to really go that extra physical mile for my craft, you know, like yeah. what Christian Bale and Robert De Niro yeah. have done. Like, I'll stop breastfeeding for a day. I like Daniel Day-Lewis. Exactly. That's yeah. what I felt and I said to the kids, if you're hungry, Go to the fridge. Yeah. It's not, the food truck is not open There's today. There's a bottle of formula in there. Daddy's Go making at it. a movie. I also asked him uh, what you might find sexier, him in the director's chair or him in the cop uniform. Huh. I'd say him in the director's chair. What yeah. did he say? He said when he tips well. That's true. When he's kind, I tell him it's the sexiest you can be when you're kind. Really? Yeah, absolutely. He's like when it when it works, we gotta like go out to eat and like yeah. go find a valet or something. If he's looking to woo me, he just needs to s let me see him tip someone royally and handsomely, and then I'm like, let's go home. Was there uh, was there a little bit of hell to pay for him admitting that the kids know the f word? No, because I've said it around them plenty of times, so it's just as much my fault. Have you taught them any new uh, swear words? No, we just pretend it didn't happen because they only say things if they know it's going to get a reaction. So if you ignore it, they drop it.